Look at this. Boom. 1655, the night's dream. Jewels, guns, and angel. Next, 1557, Jacob's dream. So many stairs and more angels keeping themselves modest. This was my favorite. 1764, woman having a nightmare. That's sick. Okay, so we, as a species, have been putting dreams to canvas for like a bajillion years. And every single night, all eight billion of us humans on this planet enter this bizarre state where we become temporarily paralyzed, hallucinate for hours, and then wake up with almost no memory of what happened. So after thousands of years of, of artists and humans asking, why do we dream? Yeah, we really have no clue. But we do have some good guesses. So today we're diving into the strangest, most mind-bending mystery your brain creates every night. Let's get smart about this nonsense. All right, to understand how bizarre dreaming really is, I want us to figure out how we discovered it was even happening in the first place. It's 1952, University of Chicago, the sleep lab. We've got these researchers with a weird idea. Mm, what if we watch people sleep? Uh, watch people sleep? Like, really watch them. Jerry, that's creepy. No, 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 it's <clears throat> for, for science. We'll, we'll hook wires to their heads. This was novel, so they start monitoring people's brains while they sleep. Now, most of the night, the brain activity was pretty chill. But then something crazy happens. What the The brain activity looks like they're awake. And look at its eyes. They're going nuts. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Whoa, I was just having this crazy dream about riding a unicycle through a spaghetti tornado while FDR judged a pie-eating contest. Every single time researchers wake someone during this phase of sleep, their subjects report vivid, detailed dreams. And boom, REM sleep was discovered. Rapid eye movement. The stage of sleep where your brain goes absolutely bonkers for like two hours every night. Pause. Before we get into why we dream, I need you to understand just how insane dreaming actually is. It might be the weirdest thing humans do. Look, every night your brain does this. Paralyzes your entire body so you don't act anything out. Creates vivid, photorealistic hallucinations. Starring people you know, but you can't see their faces. Removes all logic. So out of nowhere you're flying and making out with a talking dog. Then erases most of the memory. 85% of dreams are forgotten within 10 minutes. But this is what's so weird. Scientists have studied this for 70 years. And we still don't really know why it happens. We we know more about black holes 13 billion miles away than what happens in your head every single night. But we do have theories, ranging from dreams are completely useless to dreams are saving your life. Uh, let's dive in. All right, so scientists have split into camps about what dreams actually do, and it's a full-on academic war. On one side, you've got the dreams are useless team. Dreams are just random brain noise. When your brain does maintenance at night, your conscious mind tries to make stories out of the electrical chaos. It's like your brain's screensaver. It's, it's pretty to look at, but totally, completely meaningless. And in the other corner, the dreams are life-saving team. Dreams are training simulations. Your brain's practicing surviving threats while you sleep. That nightmare about being chased, your brain's rehearsing fight or flight. Dreams about falling, practicing reflexes. Dreams about your ex. That's ridiculous. If dreams were so important, why do we forget them? Because the experience is what matters, not the memory. Then there's a third group that's just over there, like, ah, oh, what if dreams just help us process memory? Every day you collect millions of experiences. Dreams help your brain decide what to keep and what to throw away. Random noise. Threat simulation. Memories. <laughs> Guys, what if you're all right and dreams do all of this stuff. Because some of the evidence for dreams being important is just too weird to ignore. This guy, uh, August Kekule, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but he discovered the structure of benzene, one of the most important molecules in chemistry. How? Well, he dreamed of a snake biting its own tail and realized that's how benzene shaped. The Beatles song, Yesterday. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far. Paul McCartney said the entire melody for that song came to him in a dream. Tesla's alternating current motor, Einstein's theory of relativity, Stephen King's novel Misery. This one time I learned how to beat the final boss Voldemort in my Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone computer game in 2001, all from dreams. That's 
true, by the way. And th there are studies to support this stuff that'll just break your brain. In 2010, researchers had people practice a complex 3D maze. Then half took a nap and dreamed about the maze. The other half just rested. The dream group, 10 times better at solving the maze when they woke up. 10 times, like their brains had been secretly practicing while they slept. Uh, so, you know what I love about this dream mystery? In a world where we've mapped the human genome, we've we've landed rovers on Mars, we've created AI that can paint better than Picasso, we still have absolutely no idea why our brains spend six whole years of our life creating bizarre, impossible stories that we mostly forget every morning. So tonight, when you go to sleep, relish in the fact that you're about to experience one of the most mysterious phenomena in the universe. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Mm -hmm.